So um, you can see the juice is cooking, and once it starts boiling, um, you're going to want to add your sugar, seven and a half cups. This is five and a half cups of wild plum juice and one package of pectin. Um, you're, when you make jelly, very, 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 very massively important. You always want to stir in a figure eight pattern. I make so much jelly that I kind of, I kind of make a cross almost, um, and I've gotten really good at it. It may take a little practice. Um, but yeah, all you want to do is just stir it kind of in a figure eight pattern, and then once it gets to this point and it starts boiling, that's when you add your sugar. So you can kind of see that I've added the sugar, and it kind of starts to go into little clumps of, um, of sugar, you know. As you stir it, um, you know, you can even see they'll, if you pick them up, they'll break open. Um, and the bubbles you're seeing, it's, it's the sugar kind of stopped the boiling process. It's just air bubbles from adding the sugar in. Um, and what you're going to want to do is cook this um, until it starts boiling again. Um, and you're going to boil it for one minute. Um, and then after that, you can can it. So majority of the sugar has already dissolved. Uh, and it kind of gets this beautiful plum color. Um, plum jelly is really, really pretty. Um, it's one of my favorites to make just because it is. It's, it gets this kind of really pretty pinkish, orangish, yellowish color, but it's, I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful color, but you can't really re reproduce it any other way. Um, so anyways, you stir it kind of like this, you know, until it starts to rapid boil. Once it starts rapid boiling, you're going to boil it for one minute, and you can set your timer. Um, I just set mine on my stove. Um, and then once it's done for one minute, you put it into hot sterile jars and water bath it for 10 minutes, and you are good to go. So this is rapid boiling now um, again you want to keep stirring it the whole time um, to make sure it doesn't burn and you boil it for one minute right now I've got you know several seconds left 20 about a, a half a minute um, and when it boils it will just about double in size kind of like when you're making um, candies and stuff when you're boiling sugar um, you can kind of see that it's halfway about up the pot which it wasn't in the previous videos it was maybe a quarter of the way up the pot um, and then once you're all done um, when your time's up, rather, what I usually do is stir it a little afterwards. So I took it off the, um, the stove, and you can see there's kind of this foam on top. And I found, um, with jelly at least, um, when it's still really, really hot like this, if you continue to stir it after it comes off the boiler, usually most of the foam will go away. As you can see, it's kind of getting a lot better. Um, and then once you stir it for, you know, 30 seconds or so, and, um, and majority of the foam's gone. Anything that's left, like if you, if I stop it, you can see it kind of pools up. All you have to do is just kind of do like this motion. It's kind of, I stirred up a little too much. And then what you do is you bring it over to the side and you scoop it out um, because you don't want the foam in there again. It just won't make your jam pretty or your jelly pretty. So you want to make sure you get all the foam out when you uh, get ready to can it. So you can see I've kind of made a mess, but I got everything in the jars and you can kind of see that there are little bubbles on top. And what I've done is just let it sit for maybe a minute or so to set up just slightly. I mean, it's not going to be jelly right away. It takes some time. And what I do to get rid of those is I grab a spoon. What I do is I gently bring it forward and push my spoon down. And majority of the time, you can get rid of all those, like completely. And then I just kind of tap it. Eh, one will come off usually. And then, again, you just kind of scoop it towards you because it'll get, be kind of almost a film push it down slightly and it'll majority of it will stick to the spoon and then you go to the next one I don't know if this is like common practice but this is just kind of something I found out on my own um, thanks um, 